Oh yeah, well, at long last, the book that you always see there in the intro to the production company Video Noir has finally arrived. Video Noir, the book, the novel. It's about this video sharing site controlled by a dark, mysterious organization with a sinister agenda. I'm just going to read a quick paragraph from the back cover, an excerpt. The colors were warm and inviting. The on-screen movement was smooth and natural. It didn't feel like video at all. For that matter, Rick didn't feel like he was watching film either. It felt like a living, breathing batch of fiery neurons had somehow been plucked from deep inside the crevices of his own memory. It was like a dream, but better, different. The more Rick looked at the image before him, the more he gazed into the animated pixels of photons. The better it looked, and the stranger it felt. Then the image began to morph, began to come alive, taking on a hyper-real, three-dimensional presence. It was as if the smoldering femme fatale presence of Teenage Doll was now right there in the office, with him, in real life, in real time the inches away. Okay, that's it for now. Just a teaser trailer. More to come on Video Noir. Okay, uh, a couple of quick movie recommendations for you. Testosterone movie pick first. I mean 300. Please, that just doesn't get any better than this. Because tonight, we dine in hell. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, I think I'd make a great start. And now, switch gears. A family film recommendation from the glory days of Amblin Entertainment in the 1980s, 1987's Harry and the Hendersons. A great family film, maybe the best E.T. ripoff made. And if you have kids or you know teenagers or you're young at heart, something you want to check out. A nice feel-good family film. That's it for now, guys. Just wanted to give you a couple quick picks there, let you know about Video Noir. Have a great night. Talk to you later. Bye.